We're here to idea everyone, to fire up your curiosity and connect you with the people and ideas that shape our world. Watch, listen, understand, connect, create. Let's move the human story forward together. Hello and welcome to The Poetry of Science, a podcast which provides insight into new scientific research via the medium of poetry. I'm your host, Dr. Sam Illingworth, and each week I'll be introducing you to some of the latest scientific findings and sharing a selection of science-themed poetry. We could all do with a little bit more poetry in our lives. In this episode, I'll be exploring new research, which has found unexpectedly high levels of hazardous chemicals in nail salons. Give me your hand as I mask my concerns. Sit back and relax with worries about skin as I remove old polish. How we talk, trim the nails and reproduce. Buff the surfaces we don't know. Push back cuticles and cross our palms. Let me apply the primer with chemicals, the acrylic with toxins, the colour with compounds and waves of heat that do not belong. Give me your hand, take a breath, take a photo. Soon you will be gone to share my craft and I'll still be here, maintaining the finish, breathing the fumes. This poem is inspired by recent research published in Environmental Science and Technology, which has found high levels of hazardous chemicals in Canadian nail salons. Public attention with regards to the hazards in nail salons has increased recently, likely because of the expansion of the industry and the perceived vulnerability of nail salon workers. Most such workers are women who often are immigrants and work in precarious employment. Nail salon workers are also potentially exposed to various hazardous chemicals, including orthophthalate esters or phthalates and organophosphate esters or OPEs in the cosmetic and personal care products that are used in their workplace. These chemicals have been associated with negative health impacts, including both adverse neurological and reproductive effects. As such, it is important to fully understand the extent to which people working in nail salons are exposed to these chemicals. In this new study, researchers measured the occupational exposure to phthalates and OPEs for a selection of nail salon workers in Toronto. Salon workers were asked to wear an active air sampler, a silicone brooch and a silicone wristband during their work shift which were then used to measure their exposure to these chemicals. In analysing the results, exposures for some chemicals were found to be up to 30 times higher among nail salon workers relative to exposures in the home. In some cases, they were even 10 times higher than levels found in e-waste handling facilities, an industry in which exposure to these harmful chemicals is more fully understood and thus better regulated. Several of the chemicals found in the nail salons had some restrictions on their use under the Canadian Environmental Protection Act. However, Most of the chemicals are not explicitly regulated in Ontario workplaces. This study therefore highlights the need for government and product manufacturers to make safer personal care products and also provide safer spaces for workers and customers in the personal services sector. Now that you've heard the science, let me read the poem to you again. Give me your hand as I mask my concerns. Sit back and relax with worries about skin as I remove old polish, how we talk, trim the nails and reproduce. Buff the surfaces we don't know, push back cuticles and cross our palms. Let me apply the primer with chemicals, the acrylic with toxins, the color with compounds and waves of heat that do not belong. Give me your hand, take a breath, Take a photo, soon you will be gone to share my craft, and I'll still be here, maintaining the finish, breathing the fumes. In this section of the podcast, I'd like to share a poem written by another poet, on a topic related to the science that has been discussed so far. In this episode, I'll be reading 
You mean you don't weep at the nail salon? By Elizabeth Acevedo. Elizabeth Acevedo is a Dominican-American poet and author who was born in 1988 to Dominican immigrants and raised in Harlem, New York. She earned a Bachelor of Arts in Performing Arts at George Washington University and an MFA in Creative Writing at the University of Maryland. Acevedo is the author of several poetry collections and young adult novels, including The Poet X, published in 2018, With the Fire on High, published in 2019, and Clap When You Land, published in 2020. Her various accolades include a National Book Award, the Carnegie Medal, and a Boston Globe Horn Book Award. As well as being a previous National Slam champion, Acevedo has also been a fellow of Cave Canem, Cantamundo, and a participant in the Callaloo Writers Workshops. You Mean You Don't Weep at the Nail Salon, by Elizabeth Acevedo. It's the being alone, I think. The emails, but not voices. Dominicans be funny the way we love to touch. Every greeting, a cheek kiss, a shoulder clap, a loud got to be my period, the bloating, the insurance commercial where the husband comes home after being deployed, the last of the gouda gone, the rejection letter, the acceptance letter, the empty inbox. A dream these days to work at home is a privilege. I remind myself, spend the whole day flirting with screens, window, TV, computer, phone, eyes and eyes and eyes, the keys clicking, the ding of the microwave, the Broadway soundtrack I share wine with in the evenings. These are the answers, you feel me? And the impetus, the why of when the manicurist holds my hand, making my nails a Lilliputian abstract. I close my fingers around hers, disrupting the polish. Too tight, I know then, too tight to hold a stranger. But she squeezes back and doesn't let go. And so finally, I can. Thank you for listening to the Poetry of Science. Thank you very much for being with us for this episode of the Idea Me Show. Idea Me is a global platform. Our mission is to move the human story forward by sharing knowledge of the future. You can find us on all major audio networks at www.radioideame.com, on YouTube and Vimeo. Please subscribe.